So I survived anime Boston 2015. It was so much fun, a lot of stress, and just crazy. I took on the task of making three costumes by myself, um, and that was insane. <laughs> yeah, I kind of regret, like, just how much work it took, and I'm not much of a sewer, so, like, it, it was just a ton of work, but so much fun. I loved it so much. The first costume that I did was Earth of Scarlet from Fairy Tale, which was like, it was going to be a lot better, <laughs> a lot more advanced. Like, I was trying to learn how to make armor. And, like, I looked at all the tutorials and I tried it and I bought, like, a crap load of duct tape. And, like, it just failed, like, completely failed, and I just ended up doing, like, her normal form. Like, you know, the, the pleated skirt with the blouse and the cravat and, um, and her boots and stuff. But I was like, I really, I really tried to go out with that and... I'm an overachiever sometimes, and I'm very ambitious, and I don't always, like, I wanted to be like this, and I was like that, so, yeah, it sucked, <laughs> but that's okay, um, well, I mean, it didn't suck, it was, it turned out pretty good, I ended up buying the skirt, because I just could not, for the life of me, figure out pleating, it was super difficult. Um, the next costume that I did was a Sailor Neptune costume, which was originally meant to be displayed on Saturday, but there was just like all of this stuff going on um, that I ended up just displaying it like Saturday night, and I'll get into that in a little bit. But that was like super difficult. I probably made like his body suit before I even like officially got it finished and it was like super sheer and it just messed up and there was a lot of taping in the last second um but oh and also like the zipper was inside out because I for some reason could not figure out the zipper zippers are like the devil when it comes to sewing like they're just so they're so difficult <laughs> Um, I mean, I'm just happy that I put a zipper in it and it's functional, like, whatever. I also had to buy, like, little booty shorts to put underneath because it was so short. Because I like to make things look as accurate as possible towards the anime. So, like, their skirts are always so short that I have to do it like this. So it's kind of silly, but <laughs> that's just the way my brain works. Um... And my last costume that I did was Juvia Loxer from Fairy Tale, which I had to buy a pattern for because I just for some reason couldn't figure it out. Well, I'm just really bad with like figuring out sleeves and stuff, and there was no tutorial online. Like if I find tutorials, then I can do it. My braid's not so advanced that I can figure this stuff out on my own. So I bought a pattern for that. And I think this is actually my best costume this year, and my favorite costume. Um, I wish the collar thing was better, but, you know, what are you going to do? It is it is what it is, and I just, I had never made one before. Like, I had seen some people who did it in the front, like her first few costumes where the collar was done in the front. But this one, like, seemed like it was done in the back, and I don't know, for the life of me, I just could not figure it out. It's probably, like, super duper easy, but, <laughs> again, sometimes my brain just, like, also, like, last minute, I'm just, I can't. <laughs> and this is my first time officially cosplaying, and this, that, that, but, yeah, like, some things about the convention were a little bit frustrating. There were long lines, 
like I mean wicked long lines like the first day we came in and we were so we came in on Friday and I think we came around like noon ish time because we're like okay we're just gonna come in around noon because there really isn't anything we want to go do until like one o'clock or something and it shouldn't take that long you know like we took um, the tea and stuff and you know we got there walked there wasn't too long from like went to North Station and then, like, to another station and stuff, and it didn't take that long to walk there. I mean, I had my bag and stuff, because we were spending the night at the hotel and stuff, and, um, yeah, the line was massive. It was so confusing, so difficult, and, um, the line took up, like, I think, like, it went up stories of stairs into, like, convention rooms and stuff. It was crazy. Like, I don't know. Like, now I'm thinking, like, next year when I go, I'm going a day before, or we're getting our passes a day before, because there's no way I want to be standing there. I mean, it was, like, some of it was kind of nice. Like, we got to, like, see other people, and we took pictures with people and stuff, but it was warm, and it was, like, really uncomfortable, and, like, us cosplayers, like, Sometimes we wear a lot of stuff, like, I had to wear a lot of layers, and, like, because I was doing, like, the Scarlet, like, I had, like, stuff in my bra and stuff, and so, like, I had, like, tube socks in my bra, and I'm, like, I'm, I'm gonna have, like, under boob sweats, <laughs> I don't know, and I've got this, like, heavy wig on, and, like, we have so much makeup on our face, and, like, I'm, like, I feel like I'm melting and stuff, like, I feel like my face is just coming off, <laughs> and it was just, like, it was... It was frustrating, and, um, then, like, going through bag check and stuff, like, I totally understand. You gotta check everything, and I had a wheelie bag because I was told, like, those are great to bring to convention, they're easy to move around and all that and stuff, and I'm like, yeah, it was good, but I probably should have brought something bigger because I was staying two nights, and I had my three costumes and then, like, regular clothing and all this stuff, so I'm like, and then food, like, I just did not have enough room for everything, and, you know, like, I feel like this first time around was like an ex like experimenting with a lot of stuff like experimenting on like what you need to bring like what you don't need to bring and like all that and I feel like you know like I've watched a lot of YouTube videos beforehand trying to figure out like tips that they say to, this stuff to bring to the convention this is the bag you should bring and I mean I didn't really use that much stuff that they told me to bring maybe it's just because my costumes were more like sewn and stuff and I had, like, tape and stuff, and that kind of worked to keep things together. So, I don't know. But, like, I feel like I should have brought more food. Because, like, all my money, or, like, the majority of it went to food. And I am, like, super health conscious. Um, I'm a nutrition major at school. So, like, it's not that I count every calorie that goes into my body. And I knew that I was, you know, using more energy. Because carrying all this stuff around and, you know, walking around a lot and all this. Um not that it's like I want like healthy food like I'm really crazy into like smoothies like kale smoothies and fresh fruit and chia seeds and you know putting like nuts in there and stuff all this stuff and there was like one place that I found that did that it was a juice bar I can't remember what they're called right now but they were like right by the hand conventions ent entrance like where you've got the bag check and stuff and they were good. Like, they were really good. I can't remember which one I had. It was, like, strawberry something. But, I mean, I'm... I'll go anything for strawberry or chocolate, you know? Like, but, like, there was, like, other places I had, like, pizza and stuff. And I think, like, the first night I did go for pizza because it was cheap. But I'm just, like, I totally regret it. Like, my body is, like, so tuned now to, like, whenever I have, like, anything greasy and just not, something I don't normally eat. Like, my body will be, like no, you can't do that, so, you know, like, it's, it's, um, frustrating, but I should have been more prepared with food, because I really didn't want to spend all this money, like, I was like, okay, I'm bringing $200 cash, and that should cover everything, you know, like, I didn't know how expensive it was gonna be, um, which is kind of frustrating, because I would have rather bought, you know, more cute things and stuff, like, there was a lot of stuff I bought, but I was like, Oh, I would have just loved to have more cute things, but no, <laughs> food, because my body is a wimp, and I kind of become a bitch when I'm hungry, <laughs> so.
Sorry, but I do. And I felt so bad for my friend because I'm like, I just had so much difficulty, especially like with the mattresses at the hotel. Like, I think they're like sprained mattresses or something. They were so uncomfortable. Like him and I both woke up and like our bodies were so sore and in pain. And my friend sleeps on a couch and he's like, the couch I sleep on at home is more comfortable than this bed. I mean, that says a lot. Like, these are um, spring mattresses. Like, come on, get to the modern era. Like, I, a couple years ago, invested in a memory foam mattress. And, oh, my God, it is the best thing ever in the entire world. And, like, I love it so much. <laughs> but, you know, like, apparently a big chain hotel like the Sheridan or the Hilton can't afford to have memory foam. I don't know why because the spring was, like, horrible, and I was almost thinking, like, maybe I'll just sleep on, like, this, like, couch over here, because this feels a lot more comfortable than this bed. Also, I hate how, like, they, like, um, make the sheets so stiff, and I'm, like, so paranoid all the time, too. Like, I remember watching, um, with my family, like, one of these, like, travel shows about, like, all these, like, disgusting things in the mattresses, and I freak out, and... I don't know, I just didn't want to be that much pain to my friend, but, like, I just, I was freaking out a lot, like, I was, and that's probably why I, like, kind of turned on him a little bit, too, like, I mean, it wasn't really meaning to, like, it wasn't me, like, trying to, like, it wasn't directed at him, you know, but, like, he was kind of, like, the thing I was channeling to, I guess, like, I, I needed to yell at somebody, and, yeah, I feel bad about that, but, I don't know, I got some issues, <laughs> but, yeah, like, there were long lines, and sometimes the lines went around the block, too. Like, that happened as well. That happened on Saturday morning. We were trying to get into the convention center, and, yeah, it was around the block. And I'm like, you know what? Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not right now. Let's go grab some food, because this is ridiculous. But when we did get into the convention center, it was good, you know? There was a lot of, you know, stands and stuff. The only thing I didn't like was that people are very pushy and stuff and not everybody is like saying excuse me and I don't know like I was just raised that way like you know to be polite to other people and I just felt like oh like people are hitting me and stuff and I like you know pushing me out of the way and stuff and then I don't know I kind of was too because I get shy like even though like I'm wearing this costume and stuff like I'm extremely shy and like I don't want to like say excuse me to people like I mean like if I if I have to get to that area, like, I will, like, if I'm, you know, walking down the center or whatever to get to another, another booth or something, but, like, if I'm at a booth and I'm trying to, like, get a closer look at everything and, like, I have to see everything because, I don't know, it's just the way I am. <laughs> I don't know why. I have to see every single thing and, you know, before I make a decision and, like, every single price and then, like, you know, walk around all the booths and then decide, okay, saw at this booth for this price, this booth at this price, and that's what I do, you know, and I try to see, like, which booths have got the better prices and stuff, and so it's just confusing. <laughs> yeah, so I am not really good with crowds either, and neither is my friends, so we're kind of just, like, feeling kind of, like, uh, like, get away from us. Um... I'm getting better with it, though, and, like, I, I think, like, the only time I was really okay with the crowds was, like, you know, when I was, like, taking pictures with people and stuff, like, like, I'm okay, like, when I'm, like, in character or something, like, I really wanted to go all out with the character, but, I don't know, I was kind of, like, also embarrassed by that, too, like, what if I don't portray the character as well, but, <laughs> like, especially with Julia, I kind of just wanted, like, every time I saw somebody dressed as this great, I, like, wanted to, like, shout, Grace Sama! You know, or, like, I um, I actually did this to somebody. I saw a Lucy and Natsu, and I was dressed up as Juvia. And, you know, like, they were, like, you know, saying, like, hi, Juvia. And I was, like, hi, guys. And, you know, like, you know, Natsu gives me, like, the, um, like, like that, you know, like, the fairy tale side as he's walking away. And I just, like, I'm, like, I, like, say to Lucy, I'm, like, love rival. And, like, they just kind of, like, you see them, like, turn back, and then, like, they just, like, okay, then, and they just walk a little bit faster, and I'm, like, crap, I creep them out, like, I, it's hard for me to tell, like, who's 
not like on the young I mean, I don't know, it doesn't really I guess it doesn't have to do with age, but you know, I guess like some of like the younger people are a little bit more nervous and stuff and I don't know. It was it was kinda of funny though, but I just yeah, I kind of embarrassed myself. Nobody will know it's me. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Um yeah, but I did buy quite a lot of stuff, I guess, like, you know, other than food, like, I can't show you guys the food I bought, but, like I said, I bought smoothies, um, I did that Saturday and Sunday for breakfast, I eat a lot, again, I don't know why, and I did bring food with me, I bought apples, and then I brought bananas, and it was a bad idea to bring bananas, like, I had seen some other YouTuber who cosplay suggest, like, bringing, like, fruits, like, I think they might have not said bananas, but I guess banana was, like, the first thing that came to my head. I can't remember, um, but, like, so I did bring fruit, and the apples were fine, but, like, the bananas, they got squished, and so I'm just, like, I got this, like, brown, mushy banana, I'm, like, yeah, this is not gonna work, this is, like, baby food, <laughs> I can't do this, um, and I brought, like, some granola bars, and then I didn't, like, realize how much sugar was in these granola bars, and then I became paranoid over it, because I get paranoid sometimes, and I was, like, I can only have one of these a day, so, like, and also, like, they think they had, like, three grams of protein in, which is nothing. So, it's just, like, yeah, this is not going to fill me up. This is not going to be a meal. And what else did I bring? Um, I brought, like, these, like, chia seeds things. They're kind of, like, children's food or something. They were disgusting. Like, it was, like, coconut mango um, apple or something. And it was just really, really gross. Like, I could not believe how disgusting it was. I cannot, like, I had, like, a little bit of it. I was just, like, this is disgusting. I can't do it. Um, and I brought, like, some cookies, and, you know, that was about it. Oh, and some chocolate, of course. But it just was not enough food. And, like, I had plans to bring, like, PB&J sandwiches because, you know, it's got, like, protein in it and, like, a little bit of sugar and stuff, unholy bread. But I was planning on doing it, like, the day of the convention, like, when I first went over, um, with my friends to Boston and stuff, but it, like, took me forever in the morning to, first of all, I had to finish my costumes, especially my Urza costume, because that's what I was coming in, and put my makeup on, and all that, like, and I was, like, trying to do, like, everything, and I was trying to do, like, the eyelashes as well, like, I should have watched a tutorial on it, like, I never realized fake eyelashes are that bad, or that difficult to put on, um, and then, you know, like, it turns out, like, when you're wearing, like, a wig and stuff, nobody can really tell, like, right now, I just have my natural eyelashes with, you know, mascara, like, a load of mascara on them and stuff, but I just didn't realize it's going to be that difficult, and I just never had time to make food, and then it freaked me out and stuff, and, uh, yeah, so that's where some of my money went to. But I did end up getting some really cool things, and I will show them to you guys. So, probably one of my favorite purchases is this Pikachu. Now, I have been wanting a Pikachu for forever, and I've been, like, really picky about it, too, because I want, like, the chubbier Pikachu, because I think the chubbier Pikachu is, like, more of, like, the older version, you know? Like, the ones that us 90s kids grew up on, you know? Um, the original Pikachu. And, I mean, like, look how cute he is. Um, I also thought at first that this was, like, a tomato or something, but, like, my sister says it's probably an apple, which he probably is right. But I just kind of like thinking about, like, um, I think I, like, saw a meme somewhere on the internet where it's, like, oh, like, a better love story than Twilight, you know, like, hating on that. But, like, this guy is, like, super duper cute. So I'm super excited, and he's very soft and plushy and super nice to snuggle with. So, yes. This is my favorite purchase. And then I got this the last day of the con. It is a, it's called like a heart, um, like winged heart necklace or something. Next was this. It was a gift from my friend. It's a little Sailor Neptune. I have been wanting, like, I, I buy all those, like, little, like, chibi sets. It, you know, like, there's, like, six or seven different ones that you could possibly get. And I haven't really lucked out on them. Like, 
I mean, I guess I did okay. Like, I got, um, for the Inner Scouts, I've gotten uh, two Mercury's dressed in their regular clothing, like, exactly the same Mercury's, and um, two Ray's dressed in regular clothing, one of them winking and one of them not. And then for the Outer Scouts, I just got a Pluto. And, like, they cost, like, $10 each. Like, I, it seems kind of ridiculous, and, like, I only, like, well, I mean, I love all the Scouts because... You know, like, they're all awesome in their own way and stuff. But I'm like, Neptune is my favorite. Like, my first girl crush, you know? Like, so my friend got me this for my birthday. It is super cute. So I'm very, very happy about this. Okay, so I bought, like, a ton of manga. <laughs> Because I feel like the conventions are like the best place to buy manga. You can get so much manga for such a great price. Like some places will be like, buy one manga, get like two free. Or like on the last day they had, buy one manga, get three free. And I mean like some of them are kind of like, what the heck is this? And I'll have to, I have to admit that some of these are kind of like, what the heck? Why did you buy that? And it's mostly just because like there was one in there that I was like, I need this. And then... I was just like, well, I get a couple free, so, like, why not? So, for the ones that I'm, like, not really sure about, like, these were kind of the freebies, was, like, was this one? Which is, um, the Kurogasagi Corpse Delivery Service. I don't know, it kind of, like, seems kind of, like, creepy. And I, mean, I also know it's, like, volume four, like, they didn't have the first volume. But I'm just kind of, like, I don't know, it, I kind of like some of the creepier stuff, like... Um, so, like, I'm like, maybe this is interesting. I mean, I'm one of those people who will sit through something, even though it's, like, really, really bad. Like, my friends don't understand it. Like, why the heck do you sit through, like, something like that? Um, but, yeah, so, who knows? Like, I'd have to get the first ones, or this might be something I'd bring to a swap next year. I don't know. And then, like, another one that I wasn't so sure about, like, is... Negihio Mahori Little Girls. Sorry for but butchering the words. But it's like about like a preschool romance. I don't know. I just feel like it looks kind of cute. You know, like the artwork looks really cute. So I'm like, yeah, okay, I'll do it. Um, I did find some pretty cool things though. Like I thought that, I mean, well, for me, they are pretty cool. Um, and definitely like a better price than going to Barnes and Nobles or shopping online. There isn't really that many places to find manga around here. Like, there are a couple of, like, discount stores. And I have done very well at, like, um, savers, like, thrift stores sometimes. But you have to be careful because sometimes they'll, like, overprice it. And it's just ridiculous. And, like, you don't always know what you're getting as well. Like, I do sometimes just buy them just to sell them online. But, yeah, I haven't really seen that much. And I still got to explore a little bit, like, I don't know, like, there isn't that many places to buy manga around here. Like, it's more like comic book stores than bookstores. But, yeah, um, this one is a certain magical index. So, this is, um, I watched Railgun, which is, like, like, this is, like, the basis, and then, like, Railgun comes off from that. Um, I watched that anime, which was, like, really cute and really funny, and I, know, I just connected to it, you know, so... Um, I haven't watched the second season of that yet, or I, like, watched part of it, but I haven't watched the second season yet. Um, and I didn't realize this one's, like, a novel. I'm, like, I didn't expect that. Like, I thought, oh, it's manga. No, it's a, a novel. It's also, um, number three. But this looks good. Another thing, I got this for, like, with the cheap. Like, I, it is Strawberry Panic. And I think I've heard good things about this. I really enjoy things like this. So, I have a ton of these in my collection. This looks very similar to some other things I've read, like Girlfriends and things like that. So, looks like a good thing for my collection, and I got it for Wicked Cheap because it's typically like $15, and I think I got it for like $5. So, that's not too bad. I also am obsessed with Nana right now, and I'm hoping to do a Nana Osaki um, cosplay next year. 
so, like, I think she is, like, the most gorgeous woman ever. Like, I've never had a crush on any anime character before, but I'm just, like, she is go so gorgeous. And I totally ship the two notas together. I don't know if that's, like, really silly and stuff, because, like, obviously they do not end up together. I mean, well, yeah. But these are awesome. I'm so glad I found this. I, like, I was so worried I would not find Nana, because I think it's a lot older like, I, I heard my friends talking about it in high school and stuff, and I just, I never got to it. But, like, I wasn't really sure what it was about. And, oh, my God, like, you guys, if you haven't seen the the anime, like, watch it. Like, the artwork is beautiful. The music is beautiful. Like, the storyline is beautiful and so sad. And just, like, oh, my God, it is amazing. It's just a work of art. I have, it is, like, there. Like, I, I think that has to be, like, ranked up with, like, for me, like, with Sailor Moon and fairy tale, like, those are my favorite, but, like, oh my god, like, this is amazing, and I've only got, like, two volumes right here right now, um, hopefully I can get some more soon, but, you know, for now, this is what I got, and, like, this was hard to find volume one, like, I kept going around, I was like, do you have Nana volume one, and they're like, no, sorry, we don't have it, and I'm like, oh, okay, because I just, I didn't want to get, like, volume two or, like, you know, volume three or whatever. I wanted to start with volume one. I was like, I, I need to start with volume one because I have a whole bunch of manga books that are, like, you know, like, starts with volume three. And that was mostly because, I, like I said, I get my vo my um mangas for very cheap at thrift stores or, you know, discount stores and stuff. Because I don't want to pay $11 for these. I mean, I reread them over and over again until they get good use out of them. But I just don't want to pay a lot of money for it because... I don't have that much money. So I was really excited to find this. And then I really, really lucked out with this because um, I went to a swap meet on Saturday night. And like I said, I have two Mercury uh, chibi dolls. And I have been, like, just trying to get rid of it. Like, I've been trying to sell it on Amazon. And, you know, like, people are kind of, like, a hit or miss with Mercury. Like, some people really, really, really love her. And other people are just like, eh, she's okay, I guess, you know? And it's like, it's a shame. But, um, so yes, I was able to find somebody who loved her, was like, idolized her and everything. And I was, I was super happy over that because I really, really lucked out because I got volume two and then I also got a volume one of Nana, which as I told you before, I already had because I bought it that day. And um, so I was like, okay, well now I have an extra manga book and I can trade it. So I did. So like um, I was having kind of difficulties because I was like, oh, I would really love a cosplay item. You know, somebody's like got some cosplay items, but you know, nobody really wanted to trade a manga book that's been out for like ever for a cosplay item. So I just found this woman who had a couple of little figurines and I lucked out and I ended up with a Sailor Uranus, which she looks like she's kind of like one of those like knockoffs or something, you know, but she's cute. And now my Neptune has Uranus. <laughs> um, I also ended up with a Pikachu without a tail, which I didn't realize until later on. And he looks really crazy in 